particular aircraft is the most widely used uh, aircraft in the United States today for EMS work. But this particular aircraft is a rear-loading aircraft, and we have a regular ambulance cot, ambulance cots that you'll find on any ambulances in the city. Mm -hmm. It just comes in now, like so. And as you can see, we carry all our equipment pretty much on the on the uh, stretcher itself. We also have another stretcher inside of this gray pack. So in the event we have more than one patient to transport, let's say an automobile accident with a few patients, which happens generally 10 times a year on average, this equipment will relocate it throughout the aircraft. The seat folds up. Bob will get this out, and it actually secures in these bookers right down here on the floor. And we put the second patient there. So as you can see, from a flight crew standpoint, we not only want to minimize what's the time on the scene, because truly, truly, there's not much more we as flight crew members can do than a, a paramedic in, in a, any ambulance in the state of Indiana. There's a few more things, but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to decrease the amount of time we're on the ground um, and in the air. So. We make sure everything's done for the patient, so we don't really have to mess around with them too much in flight. Because, as you can see, there's just not a lot of room. Um, we can always carry two units of O negative in this cooler here. We were actually one of the first four helicopters in the United States to carry it. Um, we not only carry the uh, two units of O negative here, we also carry um, I saline, which is utilized for post cardiac arrest post-cardiac arrest victims, um, improving their mortality and morbidity uh, following cardiac arrest and return to spontaneous circulation. They get a pulse back after being in cardiac arrest. We cool them down. Their survival rates in the brains usually do a lot better in the long run.